Hi everyone. I hope that this video will help. We picked this up for our grandson who is going to be 13 and he started doing some light lifting and thought this would make it easier for him to move forward should he decide to get a little bit more into the weights. It um, has a lot of features. It can be folded up. It can also be adjusted up or down on the backrest. You've got an area for working with your arms. Another set of area here where you can work for your arms with lifting weights. Basically, this moves up, put a weight on here, and over here, similar. This is where you would do your arms, and that moves up. Or you can put a weight on there and use your legs by sitting on the forward part of the bench. So this is basically, in my opinion, good for youth all the way up to maybe early teens. It is not really designed for a larger person. So I would suggest this if you have a younger child that wants to start out. And that is probably the only reason I'm going to give this a four on the review. So I just wanted everybody to be aware. But other than that, I did assemble it about, I think, about an hour. Um, you'll see all the parts at the end of this and some of the tips along the way, which if you do buy it, hopefully will help you put it together. So I wish you all the best and hang in there and I'll connect all those other videos for you. Wishing you the best. Be safe. Bye-bye. I'm going to just make a few little videos along the way so there's no mistakes. Basically, your first part is put these carriage bolts, a washer, and the nut on top. Now, keep in mind, these do not have to be tightened real tight because they're lock washers, so they're not going to come loose. You don't want to tighten them so much that you bend the bottom. So... Just make them snug and you'll be good on this part. Step two, and keep in mind, this is going to be facing the same way these little posts are coming out. And what that's going to require is, of course, this support part here. It's going to require those bolts, those washers, and again, the locking nuts. If you notice on the inside, it's blue. That part holds it tight. So again, you don't have to snug things down too tight, just snug. Okay, here's step two completed. Again, make sure when you look at this, that part goes upwards. It goes towards the longer posts with the little rubber caps on them. And it uses an Allen wrench and the same type of locking nuts on there. And don't forget there is a washer on there. What I have done to make it easier is I got myself a socket, and I'll tell you what it is. Um, I don't know, I can't see the millimeter on it, but either way, I got a socket rather than the wrenches that they gave you. It just works a little bit better. So I'll be back in a moment. For step three, you're gonna need the two angle arms, and one is gonna be labeled left, and there should be a right on that one. So this one I've already put uh, the clamp on and I've put one of the rest, the foot rest or arm rest here. Again, you got one screw, which is part number five and a part number 11 washer. And again, the arm goes through and you're good to go in there. These you can make a little snugger because you're metal to metal. There's no gap between it. And I will show you when it's completed. Okay, you've got step three completed. As you can see, the arms are put on with the screw and which is number five part and the number 11 washer and two of the clamps. And we'll go on to step four. Step four, the angles that you had just assembled are going to be put on here with the longer but there actually, there's two of them. They're the five, um, about five inch bolts. And of course, two more locking nuts will go on here as well. Keep in mind, 
that they go on the same side as where this is. And they are marked left and right, but if you can't tell which is left or right, uh, according to the way the machine is set up, just make it so they're gonna basically go up like this. And as long as they're on this side with that arm, you're gonna be good. Step five is gonna be putting the seat on the bar with, I think their number eight was the part number, and it's those four screws and the smaller Allen wrench. So I'll finish that up and show you when it's done. Okay, step five was an easy one. Basically your seat is on, the narrow side goes towards the out, and the wider side goes towards this little arm here. And again, snug them, but don't crank them down too hard. Okay, we're gonna to go to step six, which is going to be the front support. So basically, it's like what we did for the back legs. You're gonna need two part twos, and those are the carriage bolts, two of the number 11 washers, and two of the number nine lock nuts. And we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put the bottom onto here, and again, don't crank them down to where you start denting the bottom. So let me finish this up, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, this is finishing up step six. And there you have your bolts coming through your nut and your washer. Again, don't crank too tight, because if you do, these are going to dent in the bottom. So you just snug them and they will be fine because these nuts will not loosen up. And if they do, you can tighten them a little, but for the most part, they'll be fine. So that's it, let's go to step seven. Okay, part of Step six, instead of going to seven, because I jumped ahead by mistake, is getting this bar in. And I didn't tighten anything up until I'll tell you why, but you've got your bolt going through here, and you've got a lock pin there. And on this side, you've got two smaller bolts, lock nuts, and then they didn't want you to tighten anything until this support bar down here was installed. So I'm going to go and I'm going to snug this up and then I'm going to go and I'm going to tighten them bolts. So let me finish that because that was the rest of part six and this is actually going into part seven, but I wanted to show you so I could at least tighten things. Okay, part of step seven is putting this post through the center here. You'll notice you have three smaller ones and one larger one. Of course, the larger one goes in there. And the same thing when it comes to the foam pads, you have two with bigger holes. So those are the ones that are gonna go on that bar. So let's finish that up quick. Okay, I have those pushed on and we'll go on to the next step. I skipped ahead a little, sorry about that, but I wanted to sort of put everything together here so I can show you and you can sort of figure it out as I go along what things were done and what wasn't. Um, you can see the bolts. I'm going to go over those. And they had this in the second hole back. I think that's going to be for preference. But it's basically installing them on just like you did the larger bar. But these are the three. We have to say one, one, two, and three are the smaller bars. The bigger bar is up near the seat. And you got a little clamp on there. That's gonna be for your weights. And I think that was it on this step. So I'll just go around it so you can see, give you a view from a distance so you can see about where we are. And now I'm gonna go and do the main seat right now. So we sort of jumped from all those little assemblies to step 11, I'm sorry, step 10. And that is putting the seat together. And the thing you have to watch out for, this is the narrow end up here, and this is the square back end. And you've got on these, you've got holes on one end and you don't on the other. So those are gonna go towards the back side. And they're gonna be assembled with these four remaining screws. So let's get that done. Okay, this will finish up step 10 and 11. We have the bars on, and remember, the area where the big holes are goes towards the 
flatter side of the back and on the elbow rest this bar is going to basically face the little detent here so that's about it and let's put those together i've already put the bars in which basically just slide up and down and let's finish it up and i'll be right back